The llama. Do you know what the llama is? What it's from? <laughs> it's from a video game called Fortnite. Now, why do I have this llama with me? Well, my number one productivity tip uh, that I believe you can implement uh, today that will set you up for an amazing week next week is the llama or things like the llama. Uh, what am I talking about? I'm talking about unplugging, bringing joy into your life and setting yourself up for success. You know, sometimes we're so focused on our goals Sometimes uh, we're just wrapped up in what we do when we never take time to be grateful. We never take time to be a kid again. Um, my name is Cherry Petrovic, if you don't know me. Uh, love to chat with you sometime. Been working, with, uh, working for myself from home for over 20 years. And when you work for yourself, it takes a lot of self-discipline. Well, uh, yesterday I drove to Atlanta. I live near Raleigh, North Carolina. So that's like a six and a half hour, seven hour drive. Picked up my grandson, Bash, uh, who's nine years old. Uh, he's coming here for Camp Yavi. We drove back today. We've already been swimming uh, in the pool and we are setting ourselves up for an amazing week. But uh, we're gonna have an amazing weekend as well. We're gonna play with the llama. Uh, we're gonna play with this. Check this toy out. This is from the game Fortnite as well. It's a little dude in there called Smasher. Uh, and uh, the guy who actually lives across the street from us uh, uh, is co-owner of the video company. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, connect Bash with that guy and Bash will have some amazing memories. And you know, that's really what it's about. It's learning how to enjoy your journey of success and while I want you to push hard, I want you to hustle, I want you to um, give it all you got while you're out on the field, I also want you to remember the llama. Get something like this that reminds you to unplug and have joy. Now, I also have this little dude that my son gave me. Uh, it is a rhino. Uh, I've got all kinds of rhino gear. Now, if you know anything about rhinos, rhinos have thick skin. They charge after their goals. They're 6,000 pounds. Nothing is going to stop them because that's kind of my focus when I'm going after something. And it's about getting stuff done, working hard, and not worrying about what other people think of you. The truth is, the truth is, people are going to judge you no matter who you are, no matter what you do, no matter what you wear. Uh, they're just wired that way. And you know what? That's okay. That's okay if they're going to judge you. And what I will tell you, it's the same thing I told my kids when they were like 8 and 10. Uh, what people think of you is none of your business. Come from a place of integrity. Uh, focus on who you want to be. Be the best version of yourself. And have fun. Enjoy that journey. Um, you know, the other thing that I have is uh, I have all these 3 by 5 cards. And all these 3 by 5 cards are little cards that I write uh, what I'm grateful for. So I, if I'm having a bad day, uh, all I have to do is, uh, here's the top one. I'm grateful for Bash and Ace. Ace is Bash's little brother who's about two and a half. Uh, and the joy uh, that they bring into my life. Uh, I am grateful uh, that I live in the United States. Uh, crazy times in the United States right now, but I'm still grateful I live here. Uh, I'm grateful that I have all my senses, especially my vision and my hearing. So. Simple things that you can be grateful for. Simple things that you can do to bring joy. And I would love to know uh, what you guys are doing to bring more joy into your life. Uh, and I think now more than ever, we need to bring to joy. Uh, Brendan Burchard in his book called High Performance Habits. You, you listen to Brendan and he's all about bringing to joy. He goes into the, to a meeting, he says, I'm gonna bring to joy. How can I bring to joy? My question for you was, how do you bring the joy into your family? How do you bring the joy into that person that you have a special relationship with? How do you bring the joy and playfulness into your work environment? How do you bring the llama into life? My name's Terry, and I wanna hear how you bring the joy. Leave a comment below. If you have any questions about uh, the affirmation cards, super simple approach. If you have any questions about 
Um, how you can de-stress and unclutter. In another uh, Facebook Live, I'll talk about the most powerful meditation book that I've ever read. Uh, and I've read a lot of books and practiced it for a long, long time. And this is a practice that really, really had a significant impact on my life, my wife, as well as my son, who is Mr. ADD. Till next time, make it a better than a drug day and a prosperous one. I'm going to go bring on the llama. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.